Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial by photoshopeducation.blogspot.com. Today we're going to go over the adjustment of match color. And what it is is it takes it you take two images and one's going to be we'll call it the source which is the colors that you want to take from and you can apply that to we'll call it the target image. You can do the whole image or just a portion of an image and we're going to show you both ways in this tutorial. Now if you haven't already go ahead and scroll to the bottom of the post and you'll find an image called download supporting files. So left click on that and you'll download a zip file. Once you have that zip file uncompressed you'll find two images and once you have those two, two images they'll be called PE-target JPEG file and PE-source. Go ahead and open it up and once you have it open let's go ahead and begin. Now you'll notice that here at the top uh, we want to follow along exactly the way the written tutorial is and for us we had the source image on the left hand side and the target image tab on the right hand side. Here's a nifty little trick. If you left click on that source or the right side and you hold down the left mouse button and you drag it to the left you'll see they switch and then you release the left mouse button and now you flip those tabs. Now we want to do this side by side to show you as we go here uh, is it changing so we want to come under window left click window menu arrange and then left click on tile command and that will put the source on the left hand side target on the right hand side the first area we're going to do is the whole image as you can see here on the left hand side which is our source it is definitely is a little bit better colors than this blah over here we really want to brighten this up make it a, a more vivid colors and we just want to sample from all of these colors here. First you want to left click on the PE hyphen target that's where we're going to be going and then you're going to come down left click on image come down to adjustments then come down to match color and uh, command left click on that and that will display a match color dialog box. Let's not let's for, let's ignore this this top portion here and come down where it says source. You're gonna left click on that and you see the two files here, PE tar, hyphen target and PE source. We're telling it where do we want to sample from. Well, this example we're gonna use PE hyphen source. And you'll notice on the right hand side it actually starts changing the colors because we have the preview checked. You gotta make sure that that is uh, checked off so we can see the changes. We'll do the layer next one in the selection but you could actually pick a specific layer. The luminous is we'll say the brightness. So if we if you're watching the right hand side here and we drag this a little bit down it's gonna make it darker. To the right if we drag all we're doing is holding down the left mouse button and dragging it right or left it's gonna make it lighter. The color intensity is similar to saturation it's it's to make it more vivid colors so if we drag this all the way to the right and you'll notice that the colors now are more vivid the fade is basically as you fade it it goes back to the original status so if we if we pulled this all the way to the right it would actually go back to the original state or fade it more then you see this neutralize. We're, we're going to ignore the neutralize most of the time. We're going to leave that unchecked because what it does is it looks at the source image and tries to take a neutral color and apply it all the way through. So if it thought it was there was more reds or more blues, blues in the source image, it's going to actually change that whole image and usually it doesn't look good. You notice these three boxes here. Those three boxes, if you knew the values, you could actually enter it. On the tutorial, we I believe we set the luminous to 90. And then you can just hit tab, come down, make sure this is set to 200, and we'll do a fade of 30. Then you can left click on the OK to apply it, or left click cancel to um, uh, to cancel the actual applying of the match color. For this one, let's go ahead and left click OK. So we can let's go ahead and show you the next tip. So if you want to get back into one window here, you can actually drag this all the way over and then just release it. 
now we're back to the original. So let's show you what the original looks like here. That's the original. Very faded colors. This looks much better as an image. So that's one way. Let's show you the second way. We'll bring this back to the open status. You can either close it and open it, or you can use a history brush, a history palette, and actually come back to the open step. And on this one, we're going to come back to the source. And maybe we wanted to only work on the color of the water. Now, this is not going to be perfect. We're just showing you that you can sample a specific area. Uh, we're doing this quick just for the video. Let's go ahead and use the lasso. And, and if you really wanted to be perfect, you'd come all the way around all the water to sample that area. But maybe something like this. And what we want to do is do a control C, control V, and that's going to add a new layer. Let's change that later layer to water. That way we know it in the future uh, when we get into the match color. Left click on that target. And on this one, we're telling it we don't want that blue to go into the green tree area or bushes or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Uh, so let's go ahead and just select this water a little bit. That looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and tile it again. So now we're, we're telling it this area in this target area is where we, we're going to be pasting or changing the color. So let's get back into this image adjustments, come down to match color. And we're not going to make any changes to the values up here, but let's go ahead and change that source to PE source and let's change it to layer water and let's left click OK we'll drag this to one screen so you can see it better and we can do a control D to deselect and you'll notice here is where it actually changed the water so that's uh, that's the quick way you're going to use that for if you're matching up uh, skin color, hair color, or specific areas, maybe a shirt or pants or anything like that. As you can see, we just made a selection, a square selection, just to show you that it's not applying to the whole image. That's how you use the match color. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to scroll to the bottom of the post, take the 10 question quiz, and come back and check out the other 45 or 47 different tutorials that we have. We also have pop quizzes and Photoshop challenges and other quick tips and tricks. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.